Good afternoon, Tubo. So back into our mercenary guys for Dirty Bomb, and this time round, I'm going to be having a look at one of the mercenaries currently on the weekly rotation, and this time around, it's going to be RT. So RT is one of the ammo givers, 30,000 in-game credits, or four pounds seventy-nine Great British pounds. It's one of the cheaper mercenaries. So RT, like I said, he is one of the ammo suppliers. So he starts off with four ammo packs in-game. Chuck these at all your team members and you'll be raking up the experience really, really quickly. Especially when people spawn, there's always quite a trick to do it with any ammo supply when people spawn. Chuck as many ammo packs as you can on people because people do not spawn with the full amount of ammo. So straight off the bat, you could be looking at gaining probably two to 300 experience before you've even seen any enemy players, especially if you're chucking them directly onto people because that gives you a little bit more experience as well. His other skill, his is artillery designator. Now this thing does take a little while to get used to because you can't use it inside and you can't use it if a part of the map is blocked by something overhead like a bridge or something like that does take a little while getting used to this but the uh, I'll show you in game in a minute when you put in the designator down it will either come up with a green circle or a red circle red circle obviously means it cannot target that area a green circle you need to keep it there for a couple of seconds and then a load of artillery comes down pretty quickly doing a lot of splash damage to anyone in the region so going into his full profile 120 health or 400 mil average kind of guy so he can get by and he can score a lot of points in game he's definitely one of the more versatile ones I'd say because he's neither squishy nor is he really nimble but he could do a bit of both um, so going into his default loadout you're looking at spawning in with a Drius assault rifle which is a semi auto or single shot assault rifle does a lot of damage especially if you're hitting people in the face with it does take people down pretty damn quickly but obviously your aim needs to be impeccable for this to happen m9 pistol as well and a bet kill combat knife these are his starting weapons now i've seen a couple of people spawning in with uh, other assault rifles full auto sight rifles and all that kind of stuff so those are the kinds of guns that rt will be getting later on in the game as you unlock more loadout cards so what i'm going to do just like every other mercenary is i'm going to jump into a game now i'm going to show you how to play rt give you a couple tips and tricks how to play him to the best of your ability which will hopefully improve your game um, and we'll see how we go from there. So then, in game with RT, obviously as one of the ammo giving mercenaries, you want to be looking at dishing out all of your ammo packs to pretty much everyone that you can do. Obviously, be aware, just the same as before, if you chuck these ammo packs down, not only can your team get them, but also the enemy team. So don't be chucking them down willy nilly on the front line because you're going to be resupplying all the ammo with a bullet shoot for them to shoot you in the face with. So obviously, not really ideal. Um, but as you spawn in, as you can see from the first couple of clips, what you want to be doing is chucking these ammo packs straight onto people as before. People do not spawn with full amounts of ammo so straight off the bat you can be chucking these ammo packs down on people and be scoring a lot of experience before the game's even really started so keep doing this every time you spawn in make sure you chuck down all your ammo packs they replenish quickly enough so you don't need to worry about running out of them chuck them down on people make sure people are really well supplied up if you're hitting people directly with them as well that's an extra little bit of bonus experience so keep that in mind don't just go chucking them on the floor if you've got the ability to chuck them actually on people directly because you will be adding up the experience by doing this every now and again um, so make sure you're doing that with the ammo because ammo really does get absolutely eaten up in this game whatever mercenary you're playing it seems you seem to go through ammo like there is no tomorrow so chuck these down as much as you can so moving on to his other ability which is his artillery barrage now as you can see you have a uh, little artillery designator which you draw out you point at a certain location and it will either turn red which means that artillery will not be able to strike there so this is anywhere that's like inside anything that has something covering it like a bridge or a building or a top or something um, or the actual thing it will go green which obviously shows you where you can uh, drop artillery to what you want to be aware of though is you can quite easily artillery yourself 
trust me, I've done it a couple of times now by accident, it's very easy to do, so be aware that that is possible. If you're trying to hide around a corner whilst trying to lay, a uh, lay down an artillery strike, be careful you're not pointing the green bit at the actual wall you stood behind because you will be bombing yourself and it will be very, very embarrassing for you. So, that is really it for Artie. Now, he's quite, like I said, quite a versatile character. Definitely worth to give a go on the uh, weekly rotation. See if you like him as he's one of the cheaper ones. He's quite easy to pick up as well. But I hope this guide has helped you guys. If it has, if you could like, favourite, all that kind of fun stuff, that would be fantastic. I hope this guide's helped you. Keep an eye out for all the other ones. I've done plenty up till this point. Not a lot of mercenaries left now to do, so keep an eye out, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.